Hi guys, today what I'm going to be doing is talking about bond valuation. I'm starting a new series where I'm going to be talking about the three types of bond, pure discount bond, console bond, and level coupon bond. And today what I'm going to be doing is talking about the pure discount bond. So be sure to check out the other videos that I do. So first of all, let's start off with what a bond is. A bond is a certificate showing that a borrower owes a specified sum of money. This can come from the government, usually called treasury bonds, or it can be from companies, usually called corporate bonds. In the past, what it's shown us is that treasury bonds are safer because it's the government, the government can just print money. But corporate bonds, will most of the time, offer a higher rate of return or a higher interest payment or what we call a coupon rate because they are more risky. So to repay the money, the borrower has agreed to make interest and principal payments on designated dates. So interest payments, as I just said, what we call that is the coupon payment. The reason it's called a coupon payment, which is quite interesting, is um, in the 1900s, these bonds used to be paper bonds and they used to have little coupons which you would take off and then you would go to your borrower to the borrower and you would ask for the as for your interest payment that's why it's called the coupon payment and then these principal payments are the face value of the loan and i'll show you an example but that's essentially what a bond is now there are three different types as i said bonds can also be premium or discount Premium, meaning it's above face value, and discount being below face value. And this is to do with the interest rates in the economy. So let's let's dive deeper into what this pure discount bond is. So a pure discount bond pays no income until maturity. So I'll, I'll do a little example, I'll do it visually, because this always seems to be an easier way to explain it. So let's say, let's put a column, let's go years. One, two, three, four, five. So let's put is it uh year zero here. So with a pure discount bond, I'll put P D B. What we'll have is we will not have any coupon bonds, any coupon repayments, so no interest repayments, absolutely nothing. And let's say in the fifth year this bond matures. This is when we get our face value of the bond. We'll get our, our money back. Now, what we want to do is we want to try and calculate what we should pay for this pure discount bond. Because obviously, if it's not paying as coupon payments and we're getting the future, the future value, the face value back in the future, we can call this the future value as well. We need to, obviously, we need a price which is lower than this future value because of the time value of money because of interest rates because of inflation so i'll show you how how we work this one out so we have a a basic formula i'll write this formula quite large so you can understand it so the present value so that's the current value of the bond is equal to the face value face value being how much the bond's worth. In the UK, treasury bonds are usually £100 or £1,000. Over, so this is essentially discounting the bond, over 1 over R, R being the interest rate, and then little r being the time frame. So I'll just write this down here, FV being the face value, R being the interest rate, and little r being time period. So let's just suppose an example. I'll do this in blue. So let's suppose that we have an interest rate of 10%. And we have a face value of 1 million, 1 million pounds that is going to mature in 20 years. Now, all we need to do to find the present value of this bond, what it's currently worth today, 
what we'll do is a future value, 1 million, all over 1 plus 0 0.1, 20 years. And I'll just get my calculate, calculator out. This will result in... 148,644. So essentially what this means is this million pounds in 20 years is going to be worth 148,644. Therefore, if we want to make money off this pure discount bond, the only way we can do this is by tendering an offer that is less than 148,644. And why is this? Well, let's let's talk about the counter first. If we were to pay more than 148,000, let's say we were to pay 160,000. So we paid 160,000 for this bond. Now, in 20 years time, this is this 160,000 that we paid is only going to be worth 148,644. So essentially, if my math is right, we're losing 11,356. So we're losing that much money. And that's why we need it less than 148,000. And that is essentially what a pure discount bond is. So thanks for watching and make sure you watch my next videos on level coupon bonds and console bonds.